What's up, y'all? It's Devin here with week 11, um, Men's Room FTM. My video is coming up a little bit late because it was the 4th of July. And um, I'm not much of a patriot, but it's an excuse to have fun and party and stuff. So, yeah, that's where I was. <laughs> but um, the, the first question is, uh, what motivates you to continue to transition and not quit because of negative responses? And I guess the, the overarching reason for me is being complete in myself getting to to um to be myself truly is uh is motivation and i feel it especially um along the way throughout transition at different points in the journey where you get these bursts or tastes of of happiness you know at moments where you you know you like you start binding or you start going by your chosen name or you start T or those things like that those validations uh, for me are motivation to um, continue transition and not to quit because those bits of, of joy those bursts of joy and stuff and the good feelings that surround those things uh, just let me know and continuously remind me that this is all worth it and um, I'll get to be myself one day, which I'm pr pretty much doing now. But, you know, so that to me is like motivation to just keep going, to know that, you know, at the end of this road, I am going to be the person that I was meant to be. So um, who has been your biggest support and motivator? That's hard to say because I think that um, in this sort of, patchwork experience that has been this transition there's been a few key people I can't put my finger on just one who's the biggest support motivator but um, different people who I'm close to offer different um, perspective and different sources of support and different insights um, for example um, some of my trans friends um, that I'm close with are really great with, um, you know, understanding what this is, you know, all about this, this transition and understanding the general visceral re reactions and emotions that I have to things like being called he and so they, they understand that on a different level. So, I, I go to them a lot for things like that, for support and motivation. And then I have just different non-trans friends who provide another perspective, another piece of support. So I think that, like, I've had just, like, a steady amount of, like, I don't know, four or five people who are, like, or maybe more, constant support who I go to for at different times. So I can't say that there's just one. Um when you start to feel down or stuck with your transition, where or who do you turn to? Um, well, first, I'm, I'm really about a lot about uh, inward reflection. So even when I'm stuck, I sort of try to find ways myself to work out what is going on in whatever situation may be occurring. But um, like I said before, when it came to support, I go to like different people for different things. Um, for example, uh, some things I think are good to talk to a therapist about someone when you're having just issues or experiences within or around like your transition and you want sort of like, you know, that objective light, um, I think therapists are great for that. Um, and then, you know, you have other things, something more, I don't know, intimate or something a friend of yours may understand, then I would go to them. I hate to sound kind of vague on this topic. Um, motivation is extremely important to me because, I mean, without motivation, we couldn't accomplish this feat of jumping from one identity pretty much to another identity. Um, but I find, I just find overall my main source, like, of motivation is, you know, that thought, that knowledge that, of the man that I am becoming, and, um, God, I have to say God, um, motivates me, um, because I want to, I'm, 
tra this transition is more than just my graduation from one physical form to another. It's a whole um, mesh of, of different life-altering things that are going on, you know, emotionally and mentally and spiritually. I'm sort of being given almost a blank canvas and able to sort of create myself. And that's motivation for me. And um, achieving, like, my higher goals and ideals of being a good person, being compassionate, empath empathetic, and loving, and showing the world that, you know, hey, here's a trans person just like every other person <clears throat> doing my thing, you know? So I, I guess that's big motivation for me. That's what puts the fire under my butt that keeps me going, that, um, that knowledge there. Um, I'm gonna stop now before I start rambling, but um, I hope that got my point across for motivation. It's just the, mo my motivation is the actual fuel and like desire to be the person that I envision myself as, a good person who contributes to society and blah de blah de blah. You know, <laughs> um, well, I hope y'all had a good fourth and spend today recovering or whatnot. If you had a lot of fun. All right, y'all. Peace.